Hello everyone, welcome to Decode ITES. This is a single learning platform for multiple IT infrastructure technologies. Do like, share and subscribe our channel to never miss out our videos. Let's continue with the learning. Let's have a small introduction of myself. My name is Prince Gurg. I'm having 3 plus years of work experience and worked on the app, VMware, Windows, Google Cloud, PowerShell, Python, and Bash scripting. Kindly follow us on Facebook, Insta, LinkedIn, and reach out to us on itesfund.com. Welcome back everyone to Decode ITS and the learning of Red Hat 8. In this lesson, we will gonna learn about the user default settings. I will make a complete understanding of that and also tell you how to manage the user default settings. Let's continue. Under this section, uh, we will gonna study about managing user default settings. There are the four sections. The first one is using user add minus D to specify the default settings. Second one is files in the etc default user add directory applies to user add only like if you create any user the settings will be applied to that new user automatically the third one is alternatively writing default settings to etc login.defs this is a very important step and you should aware how to manage this setting fourth one is files and etc scale directory are created to the user home directory upon creation so we will gonna discuss all of the four uh, things under the practical overview session and I will guide you with the theory session as well on the same. Let's have a look. So in this lesson, I will gonna teach you about user default settings. You can specify settings for each individual user as we have just seen with the user add and user multi commands. But Maybe if you have like security policies, you want to do it up front and set the defaults for users while you create them. And that's what this lesson is about. So to start with, there is user at dash D command, which allows you to specify default settings from the command line. You can see that uh, when we type user at minus minus help along with the pipe and less command user add minus minus help and applying the output to the less commands you see there are different users for the user that command so you can use user that dash d as specified here and you can use user add dash uppercase d followed by some specific options if you use uh, user add minus uppercase d it's giving you an impression of the current default settings that are used and which are managed by user that. And that is the part of that. I don't like too much about uh, user and minus D. It suggests that it can do all of the default settings, but in fact, it's only doing a part of the default settings. Now, settings that you have been specified using user that minus D are written to the configuration file etc default user add. So this configuration file applies to user add only. Let me show you the contents of this file. So before I show you the contents of the configuration file, let's take a look again at the output of the user dash, dash d. And now, and now let's have a look at that etc default user add. And what do we see? This looks familiar exactly. These are the settings that you can set using user that dash D as well. And if these are the settings, you might as well set from the configuration file directly. There is one parameter that can be ignored and that is the group is 100. This is an old setting and that suggests that new users are becoming member of the group 100, which is traditional and it is the group with the name users. On some older Linux distributions, 
all the users were a member of the group 100. We don't do that anymore and that is because it's overwritten somewhere else. As we will see shortly. Home is the directory um, where uh, home directories are created. Shell is the default shell and skeleton. Interesting one. That is the etc scale directory, a directory which contents will be copied to the new user's home directory. We will see that shortly. Uh, create mail spool is creating a mail spool and that is a file that will be used for receiving email messages. Because user accounts on Linux are automatically enabled for receiving email. Internal email but email it is and that can be useful. The big important configuration file for sorting user defaults is etc login.defs. And that is the file that really does matter. So let's explore what we can find in there. This time I'm opening it with a whim because the login.defs is an interesting but it needs a couple of modifications. So what do we see? We see mail.dir or you can say mail underscore dir. This is the directory that will be created for the user mail spool. Where spool mail. Every user has a file in there then we have some password related settings. So look at that pass max days. Is set to 99999. That is 272 years for your information. That was before civil war in the United States or Napoleon in France. Long time ago. I hope you understand all I mean to say here. Pass min days is set to zero. As it is a minimal amount of days that the user must use his password. Pass min length is minimum length and pass warn ages amount of number of days before expiration of the account that the user will get a warning that the password is about to expire. Now these four parameters are the most important parameters. There's a couple of parameters like uh, the user IDs that are going to be used for ordinary users or for system users and same for the groups. That's not so very important. Creating a home directory is an interesting one. That is what we're going to create and home directories for new users. And the other parameters are not that important. Do remember etc login.defs because it is an important configuration file for the exam, which you will gonna take. Last part about user default setting is etc scale. etc scale directory uh, is a directory in which you can put files that will be copied to the user's home directory upon creation of the user. And by default, it contains a couple of configuration files and you are free to add more files to that directory if you want to. So if you take a look at the contents of the etc, there you go. Then you can see that there is a couple of files that have named at the starts with a dot. These are hidden files and these files shape the user environment. Dot bash profile is a configuration file that is a process when the user is logging in. And the dot bash RC is a configuration file that is processed while starting a new shell. These are important files. By the way, now if you want to add some files to the user home directory, just put in here. So, for example, if I put like them, sorry. And here, let's say hello. I have entered the file. Then this file will be copied to the new user's home directory. So if I create a new user, user add um, Linux. And if I go to the home directory of user Linux, you can see that the test file is already there. And if we do ls minus a, we can see all the files over here. 
And that is how you make sure that new files are automatically copied to a new user's home directory. That's all for the user's default settings. And I hope you have taken an understanding and you got to know how to manage these settings. If you're having any queries, you can drop a comment on the comment section or reach out to us on itsfun.com. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Do like, share and comment our videos. Also subscribe to our channel.